What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Climbing Vlog. Right now Missy and I are leaving Red Rocks and we're gonna head over to St. George in Utah to do some bouldering out in Moe's Valley. So for right now, we're gonna say goodbye to Red Rocks and hello to Moe's. So I'm just gonna be out here really short term. Today's my cool down day in between Red Rocks and Joe's Valley. So I'm gonna work on the problems that are on this boulder right here. This is Sentinel Boulder. So I'm gonna start off on the V2, which is actually called Sentinel. There's a V3 that I'm gonna work on as well. And then I'm gonna finish it off with the V5 here called Huntsman Graffiti. There's a couple other boulders right behind us too. So depending on how quickly I get through these, I might try them out. Um, but for me, today's gonna be uh, minimal efforts and not a lot of attempts, uh, cause I wanna save as much energy as I can for Joe's Valley. So I'm gonna get started on this one here, so wish me luck. On it, I released that right foot to try to get underneath the left one. Which the like anything you're reaching for at the at that lip, even if I didn't have to take it, is so uh, sharp and sticky that as long as you're not throwing widely, you'll just stick Slapping it. Out. Yeah, exactly. You'll just stick it. This because it was just a little bit further to the left. Mm -hmm. I was able to stand up and like just get all my weight by releasing that foot. Then I was able to really push on it. And this thing's really good. Sweet. It's super good, and that one's really good too. Like I was surprised. Like very sharp. You'll just Sink you get your right meat into, into it. it. Yeah. It's 
good. Come on. Yes. The battle work. So that's gonna be it for Moe's today. Right now I'm headed over to my grandma's house who lives out here in Utah. But I'd say overall it was a successful rest day. I got the V2, I got the V5. I was out there only for about an hour. But there was a guy that actually came out there. His name was Pat. He's actually from Canada. And uh, we ended up climbing together, which was nice because the amount of pads that I brought was not quite enough for, uh, I don't know, to feel really safe on the V5. Plus, I'm short, so I needed that extra pad to stand on to even get to those uh, first moves. So after catching that first left-handed crimp, the first actual movement of the V5, you do have to get kind of high feet because uh, you're pretty much putting them on the rail that your hands were just on and then you reach all the way up to the next one um, and that one it was pretty sharp but good I got a little bit confused on where to put my feet once I caught the the last hold that's before the top and luckily I had Pat beneath me to kind of point out a foot off to my left that I didn't see and I was able to reach up to the top and the whole top was just a bunch of jugs so it made for a really easy uh, mantle and top out. But those are really fun climbs. I definitely come back out here to Moe's again. The V2 was super cool. It started off with nice easy moves going up and then it got to like kind of a hard crimp. I wasn't expecting it to to be as small as it was for a V2 but I did it. Thank you Kyle for recommending that problem to me but I'm excited. I'm gonna stay the night at my grandma's house and then the following day I'm gonna meet up with Nate so I'm excited. But that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching Climbing Vlog. If you haven't already, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to come back next week so you can see how the trip in Joe's goes. And yeah, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.